in this part we'll talk about the external genitalia in case of females and the glands associated with female reproductive system the external genitalia is known as vulva and this is actually a depression which is known as vestibule so this depression is the vestibule and in this vestibule there are two openings the upper opening is actually the opening of the urethra and this is known as urethral opening or urethral orifice the lower opening is the opening of vagina so this opening is vaginal opening or vaginal orifice and this is the one which is actually covered with this thin membrane called hymen in case of virgin females and now this depression that is vestibule is guarded by folds of skin there are two folds of skin the inner fold is smaller fold and these are mucus folds the inner one is smaller and it is known as labia minora labia minora at its upper end is little loose and is known as prepuce and this prepuce actually covers a very small erectile tissue which is known as clitoris clitoris is homologous to penis so here we'll write down certain homologous things also clitoris in females is homologous to penis in males and the reason for homologous nature is the same tissue both have corpora cavernosa the erectile tissue which is found in penis same is found in clitoris but clitoris is a very very small structure and the loose fold of skin which covers it it's a part of labia minora and it is known as prepuce outside this labia minora there is one more flap of skin or fold of skin this is bigger and this is known as labia majora now labia majora is considered homologous to scrotum so this is one homologous structure the other one is labia majora that is in case of females is homologous to scrotum or scrotal sacs in case of males so these two homologous structures so two openings are there in that vestibule the upper is of urethra through which urine is let out and the lower is the vaginal opening now we are talking about the glands in this vestibular region on both sides of the vaginal opening there are small glands which are known as bartholin's gland bartholin's glands Bartholin's glands are also known as bulbo vestibular glands. Now we'll write down one more name here in this part. In case of females, the glands are bulbo vestibular, and the same type of mucus-producing glands are found in males also. which are actually cowper's glands and they are known as bulbo urethral glands so the common other names which are given to it bulbo vestibular is also known as bartholin's gland which we have written here and bulbo urethral which is in males is known as cowper's glands so these are the structures which are similar in case of males and females or homologous so small glands they are mucus producing glands so that vagina is kept lubricated so this is how the structure is on top of this labia majora this upper part here this is known as mons pubis 
and this has pubic hair. So when we are talking of external genitalia, this vulva part or this complete structure comes under that. There are two main glands which help. One is this Bartholin's gland which produces mucus and the second gland they are called memory glands. Commonly known as breasts. These are Breast or memory glands are actually compound tubulosacular glands. And they are modified sweat glands. There are glands which are called lectiferous glands and these lectiferous glands open into a structure. So this bulging part which is seen in the chest region or thoracic region is known as the breast and the anterior part has an erectile part which is known as the nipple. Just behind this nipple there is a dark pink area which is known as areola and then the mass where the main gland is located. Now how are these glands located? The lectiferous gland is a tubulosacular gland. That means it has tube-like parts also and sac-like parts also. So if we draw this gland here, say this is one lactiferous gland, this is the other one. And these glands, they actually open by the ducts into this nipples. So in the nipple region, there are 30 to 40 ducts which are opening. And in this areola region, these glands swell to form ampulla. So this structure is the ampulla part which temporarily stores the milk. And this is the opening of the gland. This is the lactiferous gland. The development of memory glands, it starts at puberty under the influence of the female sex hormones, that is estrogen. The enlargement, further enlargement takes place during the pregnancy period, again under the influence of hormones. And around this glands, there is all fatty tissue. So this is all fat which surrounds these lactiferous glands. The function of the gland is to produce milk so that the newborn babies can be immediately supplied with the nutrition. And details of this, how and which hormones are responsible for this, that we will take up during uh, the process of lactation when we come to that stage. So in female reproductive system, we have seen all the parts. We have also understood how the external genitalia is and the glands which help in the process of reproduction.